That's right, little kitties, we're back to Half-Life finally. Remember this game? I sure do. Sometimes. I, that's a lie, I think about it every day. Anyway, Signal. Uh, we have three more uh, PlayStation 2 uh, maps to get through. Signal, Basement, and Waypoint. And, you know, obviously we're starting with Signal here. Uh, this is pretty good. It's just kind of pretty much any like sort of praise I gave, like something like Office, you can apply to this one. Though this is a bit of a better map in my opinion, which we'll, we'll go over the reasoning why. Um, apparently this is based off of a portion of the um, chapter Code Green from Half-Life Decay, which I've never played. I have the fucking PS2 version of the game and I've never played it. I meant to stream it at some point and that fell apart because, you know, I can't d do anything apparently. Let's, let's just talk about the map. So yeah, as you're gonna see here, it's yeah, it's not like Office. It's a bit more detailed in that regard. Though, see the thing is, Office started out in the Dreamcast version for I'm um, supposing what was supposed to be a multiplayer version, or like a multiplayer mode for that game that just never went anywhere. Whereas this obviously, like you know, Code Green was designed with the PS2 in mind. I'd like to think. So even then, the multiplayer map, you know, a lot of these like PS2 multiplayer maps are a bit simple, but this still looks a lot more detailed than the Office was. Anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm going on about here. So yeah, if you start in this little security area here, you can grab a shotgun. Which, you know, as I always say, is a good time. Never leave home without it. We're gonna come this way now, and you get this little, nice little look at, like, waiting room area. With a water thing! It's called a water cooler, right? Or, what do you call these things? Never mind. Anyway, so yeah, there's not much, uh... This is a very open map in the sense that there aren't many places to hide. You got a lot of long quarters, so you gotta, like, you know, think quickly if you see someone else come through. Not that I really need to, like, tell you that. This door doesn't do anything, but you know, that's that's not really gonna be too much of a problem. You got a cubicle, like a little office cubicle thing that's like here, I don't know why. And in it, as you can see, uh, you got another shotgun, so if you start here, grab that. Uh, come this way, we're gonna check out what's on the other side of that room there. I'd like to think there's something up here, but I'm imagining it's just a holdover from the like single player version of the map, so never mind. Grab yet another shotgun, this map likes its like, you know, shotguns. And it's grenades, so that's something Office didn't have if I remember. And as you can see, that's where that door led to. Um, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna do this side of the map first. It's it's kind of like two halves of the map. It's split here and here. It's not symmetrical, but you know. These actually do work, I think. Yeah. Which is neat, so you can get some, like, minor health points back in the middle of a heated match if you really want to. Um, you know, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. You get this neat little area here with whoever the hell these people are. And that Greek guy that, you know, I probably should know the name of. So yeah, this is great because despite being a closed-in map, you get a you get a fucking like submachine gun with AR grenades. So that's always a great time. It is absolutely how you slap them in the back of my back, the back of my back. Would that be inside me? Never mind. Anyway, that's a disturbing thought. We're not going to dwell on that. What we are going to do is we're going to go back this way now, and we're going to check out this area. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll get to this area in a bit. Let's go this way first, though. Because you got this kind of long area here. What's cool about this long area, that's not really long at all. It's kind of semi-chubbed. You got the revolver here, so that's fun. Grab that. But again, I don't really need to tell you that so much. Uh, so we'll come back this way, and that'll lead us to that room I alluded to earlier. In here, you kind of can hide, like, sort of can't hide. I thought, I thought I got back there, behind there, when I played this the first time, but I guess not. Um... I think you start here at one point. So this is one of the few hiding spots in the map. Obviously, that wouldn't have worked so well in, like, you know, actual split-screen mode. But when you're playing... If you actually play this with someone else, you know... You know, it actually could be a little useful. Um, I'm assuming this part of the map had something to do with the original, like, you know, map itself. This button doesn't do shit anymore. Like, not that it's a big deal. Uh, you can grab a hive hand, and I think this might be the only hive hand in these, uh... Half-Life 2 PS2 maps, so that's pretty good. Half-Life 2! This isn't Half-Life 2. Half-Life PS2 maps, this might be the only hive hand you can find. Uh, this also doesn't do anything. Like, again, they just took a chunk from the single player and just made it a multiplayer map. Which, you know, that's- that's not really the worst thing. You know, the vanilla Half-Life did that with Lambda Bunker, for instance. This- no, this hive hand's gyrating too much. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it. It's, um... Like I said, it's kind of like Office. It's not super technical. There isn't a lot to break down, but especially like with, you know, eight people, it could be quite a thrill to play through, you know, just for a little quick skirmish. Yeah, I guess I'll just give an update on pointless shit that no one but me cares about because it's my dumb crap. Um, you know, remember when I said I was going to do music? Well, guess what? Right after, you know, I, I put out the last batch of like videos and stuff like that, 
I've been so busy with other stuff that I haven't even touched the music that, you know, I was putting these, like, videos kind of all, like, you know, off to the side for. So that's cool. And it's not like, you know, I don't care about these because I have, like, seven maps I, I'm trying to get recorded tonight. It's not gonna happen. I can already tell that, like, that recording is just not gonna exist. I'm gonna try to knock back as many of these as possible. What I'd like to do with this, uh, tonight is actually finish up with Half-Life, like, you know, Deathmatch. Because in that case, I'll pretty much be through every official release, like, map that I want to talk about for these, like, you know, particular set of games. Well, almost. Almost. You know, remember when I mentioned that, you know, that de Deathmatch Classic thing I might want to do? Well, we're going to be doing that. That's going to take a long time. That's a whole can of worms. Again, you might know what I'm talking about, but that's like 14 or so maps I'm going to have to talk about. So yeah, if you thought I was going to be done talking about map videos anytime soon, which I thought I was, I actually genuinely thought I might be, well, you're out of your mind because now I have like a ton more to do. But, you know, every other game basically is done except for the map, that one map that, you know, the dreaded hunted in Team Fortress Classic. And besides that, yeah, it's just Deathmatch Classic from here on out. But I do have some Half-Life maps like custom ones for both the Posing Force and uh, Half-Life here in the pipeline, so that's cool. I don't know why I'm talking so much about this. You might as well just wait for the videos to come out because it's like, you know, it's not like anyone's hyped up for this shit or anything like that. It's just like, oh yeah, that new Live Void guy, he happened to like, you know, puke up some more videos. I might as well watch them because I have nothing better to do. You know, you know. You know, I need something to lull myself to sleep. I better put New Line Void on. You know, the revolver is always fun to use, but it is a little bit of a bizarre choice for this map here because this is not a long range map. Oh yeah, Claymores. I forgot the bot must have picked these up at the other point. Satchels, sorry. You know, this is kind of not the kind of map that you would expect, you know, the revolver to show up in, but hey, I ain't complaining. Damn it, side burns. It caused me to get an itch and lose. I should have fixed my mouse pad. Damn it. There's nothing quite like playing one of these Half-Life maps and having, like, the, the quarters or water just fill up with blood decals. You know, I, if I haven't mentioned that before in one of these videos, I'd be very remiss because that's one of the greatest treats about this game. Well, really, a lot of, like, you know, like, you know, Gold Source games, but I feel Half-Life especially just had buckets of blood sometimes in, like, these maps. Like, look at this. Holy shit. I mean, it is kind of lazy with the shotgun here, just kind of overhanging like that, but it, maybe when it, in the PS2 version, the entity is rotated, so it's actually properly on the table, I wouldn't know. 